All right, friends, we are gonna learn how to play Happy Birthday because we all know somebody having a birthday and this is a very important song to know. So I'm gonna walk you step by step through how to play it. There is sheet music attached below. And then after we've learned it in its basic form, I'm gonna show you a jazzy version. And it's so easy to do and it sounds really great. Okay, so here we go. We're in the key of C. We have three, four time. We begin on the note G, which is kind of what can throw the song off for some people. It's a little more challenging than you might think. Um, so we do start on G, which is the fifth tone of the key of C. So we've got G, G, A, G, C, B. That basically repeats G, G, A, G, five on D, and then C. And then G, G, all the way up, five finger stretches up to the high G. So make sure you let go of this one if you have smaller hands so it doesn't feel uncomfortable. E, C, B, A. And then I like to use my four on this F. F, F, E, C, D, C. Now, on the lead sheet, you've got chord names above where um, you should play chords. So you can play single root notes with your left, you can play fifths, you can play uh, solid chords, you can do whatever you want. So it might look like this. one option. Uh, so have fun and play with that. Now there are so many ways that you can sort of modify this to make it your own. Um, but one of the things I love to do with this one is add sevenths to it. It just kind of, I don't know, makes it sound warm and cozy. So what if you were to play that C as a C major seven? It sounds like this. And then you could play the G as a dominant seven. So G, B, D, F. Back to that C major 7, let's try an F major 7, and then a D minor 7, and then we can do an inversion of that G dominant 7, sounds super pretty. So have fun with this, explore, experiment, comment below, and let me know what you think, and we'll see you around.